So let's say you are ready to export your finished animation out of Toon Boom and import it into pre, uh, Premium, Adobe Premium, to do post-production stuff. So you go to File, you go to Export. Uh, you have a list of options here, but assuming you want to export each frame as an individual image, then we'll choose Images. I think that gives you ultimately the most control. Um, here would be the prefix that it will save it as, and each frame will get uh, numbered successive, successively. Um, make sure that it's going where you think it will go. Um, so here, usually in the folder structure, there'll be a place or a folder called frames, um, and it's typically uh, the default place where it looks, but just make sure you can actually create any kind of folder you want. Um, just make sure you know where it is. After that, you can choose file types. Uh, PNG is fine and the rest of it looks good. You can also choose the range. Um, all frames, uh, 1 to 65, selected frames happens to be the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and you just click OK. But if you, for example, just wanted um, you know, less of your animation for whatever reason, then you could just uh, you know, specify the number here. But anyways, you can click OK. It should be exporting. And all the frames should now be showing up in your uh, folder. So once you've exported out the frames from Toon Boom, you're ready to import them into Premiere. So launch Premiere and get to the, um, you know, open a new project and get to the new project window and import uh, the media. So you can do it here, import by right clicking on this window, or you can go to file and import. And you go to where the frames are, and what you can do is you can click on the first one, select image sequence, and as long as your images are um, in numerical order, Tomb Boom, or sorry, Premiere will uh, import them as a as sort of a film clip so you don't have to assemble it yourself. It will automatically assemble it all together for you. So now you have all the frames um, playing in sequence. And this will be in your um, your import uh, library. Um, so after when you're ready to put it in your timeline you can just drag the clip and put it here. And you can adjust the size and just play it through to check that it plays okay. So a couple of settings you should check um, to make sure that everything is um, playing as you expect and all the frame rates are consistent because if your animation is playing like a little too fast or a little too slow, uh, something about the frame rates may not be in sync. So a couple of places you kind of have to check to make sure everything is consistent. One is check your footage first, the footage that you imported. So go to the footage, right click, go to properties, and just double check that all the specs here um, match what you intend. So it was PNG, uh, all the outputs, output settings should match uh, what was in Toon Boom, right? So image size was 1280 by 720, which is correct. Uh, frame rate was 24, pixel aspect ratio uh, one. So everything looks good. Now, if this was different, uh, like 29 or, or was it 29.97 or whatever the, uh, the different kind of time code bases there can be, um, what you would have to do is go under file or actually no edit, go to preferences. And then what I like to do just to make sure is I'll go through each tab one by one, uh, just to make sure that anywhere that you can change to 24 if there's like a time based thing. So usually not these. It's usually in in around media, yeah, and stuff like this. So uh, time code, I'll use media source. Uh, I'll always make sure it's 24 FPS, not like 29.97 or, or whatever, or 30. Um, as sometimes it can be like a default in Premiere. So I'll make sure I change that um, here. And then if I need to, I'll re-import the, uh, the clip. Everything else looks okay for now. Video desalt, 30 frames, one yeah, that's fine. That's for the clips themselves.
Okay, so I'll click okay. Um, and it was 24 anyway, so that was that was okay. Um, now, another thing you can check is you can go to sequence settings. Oh, actually you have to select the sequence. So select the sequence in the timeline, go to sequence settings, uh, and just make sure this time base is also 24 frames per second, right? And that the frame size is 1280 by 720, but it should match uh, your imported clip specs. Uh, 24 FPS, yeah, so everything else looks okay. Um, and then you click OK. And it does play um, like you would expect. So those are just the couple of places you can uh, you can check if your timing seems to be off and different once you import your frames into Premiere than it was in Toon Boom. So once you're ready to export, you can go to File, Export, and then Media or Control M. And it launches uh, this this window, um, and then you can just check the the sequence settings and everything. So um, H.264 is a pretty good codec, um, a good good uh, compromise between quality and compression. Like it's pretty high quality and has pretty good compression. Um, just check export video, export audio. Double check that um, it's going to the place that you want. I already exported it one before, um, so I'll just name it like two just to be sure that it's different. Um, and then uh, you can just double check some of the settings, but everything should be fine now since we checked it before. And when you're ready, oh yeah, and you can also preview in in this window. And it looks okay. What, what's going to be exported. So then I will just export. So it seems all went well. Um, then what you can do is just go and check and your uh, your video or movie should be where you saved it to. And if you play it and you have the movie.